On behalf of Julio, Helen, family, and friends, welcome to their wedding celebration. Elias, who brings this beautiful bride to be married to this handsome groom? Give her a kiss. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I like to have the bride and groom face all their family and friends at the beginning of their ceremony for two very good reasons. Many of you have traveled long distances and we thank you. I want them to see the happiness in your faces. But I also want you, okay. But I also want you to see the happiness and fear in their faces. <laughs> It is an honor to be here. It's also a responsibility. When they say their wedding vows, you are making the same promises to them. And the promises to be there in good times and in sad times. That's what wedding vows are. Wedding vows are promises. 
be there for them during the good times, christenings, birthdays, graduations. But you're also promising to be there during those sad times when they may need a hand to hold, a shoulder to cry on, or maybe just an attentive ear to listen to them. I will warn you now, they may not want your advice. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but by a nod of the head, please, everyone, if you accept that responsibility, please nod your head yes. 100%, that's great. We're going to be performing many traditions here that some of you may, may not be familiar with. The first is the sign of peace. I would like everyone to turn to the person on your left and right and front and behind and welcome them here to this celebration. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And I would ask both sets of parents to please rise for a moment. Please rise. And the reason I do that, ladies and gentlemen, is that you too have such awesome role models. Both sets of parents have been married over 50 years. So I'm going to ask everyone, give the parents a round of applause. And I do have a comment for both fathers. You married both of these ladies right out of kindergarten? They're too young to be married 50 years. Thank you very much. You may be seated. You met at a bar, the cigar bar. There's nothing wrong with that. What would have mattered if you met at work? What if it mattered if you met while Julio was dancing on a pole in a male strip lounge? It doesn't matter. You met through a friend at the cigar bar and you realized something about each other that made you very interested that you wanted to know more. Julio said, it was your beauty, your style, warm, bubbly personality. It was your smile, outgoing, and sweet personality that attracted Helen. And then you went to the first date at the Mona Lisa restaurant, and you found out more about each other. Every time you will, for the next 50 years, you're going to learn something new about each other. Guess what? That's not enough. You're going to continue to learn something new about each other every day until you're not here anymore. You're gonna learn. You're gonna be more in love with each other than you are today, as hard as that is to believe. You have been through his side, through thick and thin, always there for him. And she feels safe with you. You are her protector. You're going to take care of each other. You're gonna have each other's back. That's what marriage is. Marriage is support and security. And you realize who knew this man was such a romantic? You went back to the first date location, the Mona Lisa restaurant, and that is where you proposed, correct, sir? And that was, I know the date, I'm seeing if you remember. I'm gonna put you on the spot. It was December 15th. <laughs> so that was the location of your first date, and was it the date of the first date also? Was the proposal? Well, it was close. So Julio, you realize what this means? Every December 15th, you owe her an anniversary gift for the proposal, an anniversary gift for the first date, and then on October 7th, an anniversary gift for the wedding. I'm costing you a lot of money, aren't I? A lot of overtime you're putting in, all righty. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason we laughed here today is this is a celebration. It's a happy time. You found someone that makes you happy. You found someone that you trust, that supports you, that you want to make happy. This is a celebration. When we're born, God gave us the wonderful gift of life. From, our, from God through our parents, we thank them, to pass on to future generations. The gift of love. 
how unique your love is, there are over 200 weddings per day in Las Vegas alone. That's a lot of marriages. Now multiply that every day by the whole world. Multiply that number since the beginning of time. That's even a bigger number, right? Yeah, I saw you, wow. Guess what? None had the meeting that you did, the proposal at the first restaurant, that first kiss you shared. All of that is unique to just the two of you. So your love is one of a kind. And the third wonderful gift, and that is the gift of laughter. The laughter so you can enjoy your life with the person you love. We have a beautiful reading, ladies and gentlemen. May I please call up Hanya? Yes, give her a hand. beautiful reading your wedding vows will take a few moments to recite but you're given the rest of your lives to enjoy them are you ready to become husband and wife let's do this she said yes Thank you, Helen, and my best friend, my love, my wife. I give you my promise, stand by you, laugh with you, cry with you, share with you. From this day forward, for all eternity. Good Thank job. <laughs> yes, I'm good. May I have the rings, please? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the, hold hands, you're almost married. <laughs> one of the traditions that is special is the blessings of the rings, the betrothal. Name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
Rings are nothing more than metal and stone, but what they represent when they are worn on that left hand ring finger is the love and trust you have for each other. Join this thy servant Julio to this thine handmaiden Helen. As you place this ring on the finger of the beautiful bride, repeat these words. With this ring, I promise you my love. Whenever we see a couple and they're wearing wedding bands, it's obvious you see the love they have. What you do not see is all the hard work it took to get there. Ask your parents. It was hard work for them for their whole lives to be in love with each other, be best friends. The role models that you have to look forward to through them is remarkable. Learn from them, be yourselves, be your best friends, be each other's lover. As you place this ring on the finger of your husband, repeat these words. With this ring, I promise you, my love. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, hold hands. Hold hands. I started this, ladies and gentlemen, more years ago than I want to remember. I call it the power of suggestion. Whenever you see this item in a movie, television, in print, in real life, or hear the spoken word, I want you two to point it out to each other. But if you see this, like in a movie or a television, at home on a frequent basis, only the first time you see it can you point it out to each other. You got that? Julio, if you see it first and you point it out to your lovely bride, you're telling her, I love you more today than our wedding day. Helen, if you see it first and you point it out to your husband, you're saying, I would marry you all over again. And I've chosen something that I hope means so much to you, and that is the number 50. Your parents have both celebrated 50 years of marriage. Anytime you see the number 50, if you're on a high rise, the 50th floor of a building, channel 50, page 50 of a newspaper, however you see numbers like that in an address. Okay, you're 50? Okay, so when you see that and you're celebrating your birthday, point it out to each other. If you see it first, you're saying, I love you. If you see it first, you're telling him, I would marry you all over again. 44 years I've been in the wedding industry, I've never used the word 50. So this is very unique, special to you, yes. Okay, are you ready for the good part? Okay, you've joined hands, you've exchanged rings, and you've made each other promises. So by the power of vest of me, by Julio, Helen, the sovereign state of Nevada, and the Golden Bear State of California, I am honored to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your groom. gentlemen couple for the rest of their lives mr. and mrs. Molina